And yo, check it, LAZ, man. If you want to collab and some promo, get at me. You heard? If you ain't know about me, I got videos with rap legends like Jada Kiss. You heard? I done spit with Conway. My bar's crazy. I got a video with Jim Jones that was on MTV. My Kiss joint was on MTV too. You heard I done spit with the legendary Tony Ayo, man. The list goes on forever and ever. If you want to collab, hit me up on Instagram at Real St. Lad. Send me a DM or send me an email at the LLC at gmail.com. You heard? If you got a big bag out there and you want me to help you break your artist or make your artist famous, I could do that with extreme constant promo on this channel. So get at me. Hey yo, LAZ man, shout out to the bro Ebron, you heard, shout out to the whole Brownsville, Brooklyn 11212 gang. Nah, I mean, if you from Brownsville, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you let me know what projects, what street, what block, what have you from. You heard? Z-Man Suicide Polo with the ski man running around the hood like he man. You already snow removal. I'm out here in these YouTube streets putting in that squirk. You heard? Comment gang, I need y'all to tear this up. You already know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss no new episodes. I drit out. You see, when Ro walked through the jail, son, Ro walked sideways, like with a lean. He always leaned to the side with that dead arm. So when you see him, you think he got a stroke or like he's carrying a heavy hammer in his hand. But well, that's the, the side he leaning on. That's the dead arm. And he walked real slow. And when he walked, he looking at you. And your son, he walked through halls. And the whole line, see if it was a walking down. If they see Ro coming down walking like that, the whole line move over. <laughs> They're like, yo, that's big Ro. The whole house will move over. They don't give a fuck what the CEO is saying. Yo, get back in line, baby. Get out the middle. <laughs> they ain't let none of that. They let Big Road walk the walk by itself. Give him his own lanes. Hey yo man, shout out to my motherfucking people, St. Laz and Pottersfield. Yeah, we we was on we'll never forget it was me, Big Jarrett, June, Reg. There was a lot of us. They had a game room under Julius train station. The weed spot was right right around the corner from it. And we was all hanging in the game room. Some niggas came in and said, yo man, yo big road got Frankie on the roof over there in Riverdale. And we was like, what? They said, yeah, he's he taking Frankie, he taking Frankie to the roof. Now we live, we was right in the middle of Van Dyke projects. We had to run all the way up Julius Street, run to Rocker, close to Rockaway Avenue, and then run inside Riverdale, right across from Tilton. So your son, and we was running like for dear life. Cause Ro was on a rape rampage. He was fucking niggas and lending projects everywhere. He was just doing, he had his little mini crew with him. You know, he'd knock a nigga out and they'd dig in his pockets. So he was doing all kinds of crazy shit. But when he came to Brown's Run, we heard he had Frankie. And Frankie don't fuck with nobody. You know, Frankie one of them just all around good dudes. And we knew he was like fish bait to fucking Big Row. You know, we was like fish bait for Row and shit. So when we heard he had taken Frankie to the roof, yo son, we ran like a. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, we ran like a whole block in the ass to get inside Riverdale. When we got there, they said he already took Frankie up to the roof. So instead of waiting for the elevator, we all ran up the stairs. We running, 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 running. And what, by the time we got almost to the top, we hear Frankie saying, "Yo, bro, yo, man, stop, man, stop, man, get off me. I ain't no female. I ain't no faggot." The road was like, shut the fuck up, you gonna be what the fuck I want you to be. You know? So he's like, yo man, stop, stop, bro, stop playing. We were like, shut the fuck up and bend over. Bend over. I'm like, what the fuck? 
but Freaky was fighting back at the time. So, you know, bro, you know, bend over, stop, stop, stop playing, don't fight it, don't fight it. He tell him, Freaky, don't fight it. But Freaky tell him, yo, ain't no female, ain't no fighting. So then when we all got to the top, bro already was pulling Freaky pants down. But Freaky was still fighting now. He was still fighting, but he already had Freaky belt open, and he was pulling it back and playing uh, Freaky pants down. And we, when we all got up there, Ro saw all of us, and Ro was like a lion. He was like, ah, what y'all want, what y'all want? We was like, yo, not him, not Ro, not Freaky. Now you can't fuck with him. Why not, why not, why not? Fuck out of here, y'all get the fuck out of It was too many of us, son. So we was like, nah, it's a Ro. So Big D got between it. He was like, yo, Ro, move. Frankie, come on, come on, come on. So we grabbed Frankie, and Frankie was already red, because he was, he was a red bone. And, uh, you know, we could tell Ro was slapping him up and shit. Because he had, he had nothing but marks all over his face. You know? So we was like, come on, come on. And, yo, it, it, Ro was so mad, he was looking like we was taking his dinner from him. You know what I'm saying? For real. He had, like, we was taking his dinner from him. So we grabbed Frank. He was like, come on, Frank, you run downstairs. You talk about Frank, you run downstairs. That nigga jumped down like 12 flights of stairs, real. And, you know, there's 12 stairs. He jumped down all of them. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> Yo, Frank, I know he was afraid, you know. He just wanted to get out of there. So then we all was, you know, going down and getting Frankie out. And Ro already had his pants down and everything, son. Ro, Ro, Ro was ready. But you said after after y'all seen Frankie, y'all niggas was scared to death, too? Yo, son, come on, man. I told you Ro was upset. Ro was upset, you hear me? Every, all of, after we stopped him, we turned around, and Ro pants was already down. He was like, yo, what the fuck you doing? And, and niggas like, that big D, this, this, that was a funny ass nigga. He looked at him, he said, yo, Will still got his pants down. He better have me up the fucking down there. Niggas was flying down the stairs. All y'all niggas was flying down the stairs and trying to get out? <laughs> Everybody was flying down the motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody. It was about 15, 16 of us. But we all was flying down. You talking about niggas jumping like 12 flights at one time? <laughs> niggas, you know how you jump the whole flight? And then one nigga will fall, but everybody jumping and everybody start falling? That's how it was, man. <laughs> That's how it was. Everybody was falling on each other, son. Uh, we ran out that building. We was like, oh shit. We was like, yo. We hope Frankie got home, nigga, because we stopped him, so but Frankie got away. But we made sure Frankie had came around us to go down. And Frankie was gone. Frankie, <laughs> Frankie was gone, goddamn. You know how oh, that God, shit be man. in the projects. Once one nigga start running in panic, everybody start running down the stairs in panic. Everybody, you, you already know, but we were like uh, jumping kangaroos down the motherfucking steps, son. We used to do that shit in Howard Like we used to just go up to the roof Yeah Like mad deep And be in the staircase And then somebody would just scream out A man A man is coming And niggas would just be fucking Jumping down the whole flights My nigga That shit funny Bro, Why he was doing shit like Like he just was randomly Raping Selecting different niggas to rape Yes Yes Ro was a, 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 a booty bandit. He was a booty bandit, son. He was a booty bandit, son. How brolic was he? Ro wasn't brolic. Ro had a, a funny built shape. You know, he he was more built like that hamburger dude. Can I have a hamburger today and I'll pay you Wednesday? You know, but he had a funny built. And he always wear wear his belt up top of his belly. Yo, he he, he looks at he looks at funny. It was weird. It was weird. But I seen him punch trees, son, with that dead arm. The show niggas, yo, y'all think I'm playing? But he do. He got a real dead arm, like something wrong with one of his arms. 
Yeah, something was wrong with one of his arms. One of his arms was dead. Cause I stayed there. He he punched the, the hell out of the tree so you could see the fucking the fucking bark and the scales fall off the tree. I was there, I seen it with my own eyes. Because he was showing us that the arm was really dead. You know, it was really dead, son. So he used to be like stealing off one dude's knocking dudes out with that dead arm? Yeah, he'd catch you off guard. He always catch a nigga off guard. That's how he was getting a lot of his knockouts. You'll never see it coming. You know, he knocked a nigga out over there in East New York by the game room on Pennsylvania Avenue. He hit the nigga so hard, his whole gums came out of his mouth. He said his what? I don't, he must have had dentures because everything came out of his mouth and was on the ground. That's how hard he hit the man. And niggas, and niggas was saying he knocked his whole real gums out? Yeah, yo, so yeah. But you know, in reality, I'm thinking it had to be fake teeth because there's no way you can knock a whole nigga gums out. <laughs> so he knocked the nigga dentures out. Now that I'm older, that's what he did. He knocked the nigga dentures out of his mouth, son. But back in the days, niggas was saying shit like, yo, that nigga knocked the nigga gums out his... No, it's true. It's true. Yo, I, like I tell you, I seen this shit with my own eyes. So, you know, I... The stories about bro, it, it's true. It's true. He was a notorious booty bandit, son. You know, and they tell you, don't trust him. Don't trust him. They always say, don't trust him because... When he get hard, if you turn your black back, he'd be fucking you. He'd be up in your ass. Yeah, so they always say don't trust him. Don't but trust what him. Else, what type of dude he was? He was he was a robber in the ville. Huh? He was mostly a robber, like he was robbing shit. Yeah, yeah, he have a crew. Come on, come on, the bus side. Come on, come on. Yeah, he have a crew, and uh. He'd go around and knock niggas out and they dig in his pockets and stuff like that. And and if he wanna fuck a nigga, he'd knock a nigga out. And he'd tell the other niggas, go ahead. And he'd take a nigga behind the car or something to start fucking him in the ass or something. While the nigga knocked out. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, son. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He, he was a notorious booty bandit, son. And you say he, he, he came to the island while you was there? Yo, did he come to the island? I but, gave the nigga a job. Yeah, I remember we was talking about it before with Born Son, man. Shout out to the bro Born Son. But the audio came out bad because I was outside and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? When we was oh, trying yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. remember you. I remember uh, Born Son was saying it was mad nigga scared when that nigga came through on the island. Yo, Born Son, we was talking about that one time because when he came. When he came through, I'm walking through the corridor, and I see, I'm walking over there by the barber shop with the gym at. I see niggas in the huddle. And I'm like, niggas don't huddle. And when I say huddle, it, you got about like a football team. It was about what, a good 15, 16 inmates in the huddle. <laughs> I'm like, these niggas in a huddle? What the fuck is going on over here? So I walk in, in between everybody, and everybody like, you know, they, oh, oh, that's E, that's E born, that's E born. When I get in the middle, I look down, roll on his knees. He on his knees, son. Like, you know, niggas say, her one, her two, her three. He on his knees, and he turned around and he looked up at me. He said, yo, E, what's up? I said, well, what you doing? He said, I'm just schooling these boys, you know, I'm schooling them on the, on the, on the next move I'm going to do. I'm like, yo, man, y'all niggas, get out of here, man. Y'all just cut this huddle shit out, man. So everybody was like, all right, we out, we out, we out. I said, because y'all don't know. One of y'all could be one of his victims, nigga. Y'all in the huddle. And he looking at all them niggas like they fresh meat. Right? So then we'll get up. He was like, yo, E, what's up? So then he was like, yo, E, man. Yo, E, man, I'm fucked up, man. I'm fucked up. I'm like, what's wrong, bro? He said, yo, they won't give me no job, man. And at the time, I was having problems with the bean. Nobody wanted to work the bean because niggas was getting cut in the bean, son. That's why they put the slots in there and shit. 
And niggas will tell, they put niggas under pressure. Yo, you don't bring me a pack of cigarettes, or you don't give me no extra food or whatever. I'm a, you know, I'm a splash your ass, or I'm a cut you. And they was really doing it to these niggas. So we had a problem at one time. Nobody wanted work to be. So automatically, when I saw Rose, Rose was like, yo, I need a job. But then when nobody want to give me a job, I said, Rose, I got you. He said, Wordy. He said, I said, I got you. I said, I'm going to hire you. I said, because I need you. He said, all right, where, where I'm going? Where I'm going? I said, you're going in the bean. He said, okay. I do. I go, I go to bean. I said, I said, all right, go back to your house. I'm going to go back to my house, take you some shit. And I'm going to come back and get you. So he said, all right, yeah, all right. Now the nigga happy like a motherfucker. You see, when Ro walked through the jail, son, Ro walked sideways, like with a lean. He always leaned to the side with that dead arm. So when you see him, you think he got a stroke. Or like he's carrying a heavy hammer in his hand. But that's the, the side he leaning on. That's the dead arm. And he walked real slow. And when he walked, he looking at you and your son. He walked through halls and the whole line, same as Ahmad walking down, like you said, you know, one walk down, one, one, the other one come up the other way. If they see Ro coming down, walking like that, the whole line move over. <laughs> yeah. The whole house, they're like, yo, that's big Ro. The whole house will move over, they don't give a fuck what the CEO is saying. Yo, get back in line, bro. Get out the middle. <laughs> Ain't little, none of that. They let Big Road walk the walk by itself. Give him his own lane. They don't give a fuck what the CEOs are saying. And then when CEOs see Big Road, they be like, oh, we see why they doing that. That's Big Road, the foodie bandit. And Road be looking at the CEOs and start smiling. And he got that crazy smile. And he look at him, he be like, what's up? What's up? That's why he say to them, what's up? You know, CEOs, they were scared of that nigga. They wouldn't say no what's up with nothing to this nigga. So when I went to my housing area, I told my partner, I said, yo, Nelson, I got somebody. I said, yo, Martin, I got somebody. I said, I got Big Row, man. They were like, who? See, these are the uptown niggas. They didn't know who Big Row was at the time. So I said, I got Big Row. So they said, as long as he went to Bing, we don't care who you got. I got Big went to... I think Big Row was in, at that time, that White House Row was in. I think he had something like four lower. They had him somewhere like four lower, two lowers. One of them houses he was at, I can't remember exactly what house, but I know it was one of the lower ones. The way I went to go get him, I see the officer in the bubble. The officer like, yo, hey, what's up, man? What's going on? I see him, where Big Row was? He said, look, yo son, Big Row is the only one in the day room. Now, you know, they, they always tell the inmates, nobody on the tier, in your cell or in the day room. Yo son, all of the inmates was on the tier. It was nobody in the day room with Big Row. I look, I look at the officer in the A station, he whispering me, yo. Can you take him out of here? He told me, you came for him? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, take him. Take him. <laughs> right? So I go in the day room, and Big Row got, he got a, pen, a pencil and a paper, and he covered over the pencil and paper, like, so he don't want nobody to look at what he writing. So he, like, covered up. He writing something. So when I go in the day room, I go behind him, and I stand behind him, but I want to see what he's going to do. And he didn't flee, you know how a nigga flinch when you catch him off guard or whatever? Bro just lifts up his head real calmly and looks up at me and said, Oh, wee! What's up? You came for me? I said, yeah, I told you I got you. I said, what you doing? He said, I'm writing my grandmother a letter, man. I said, you know what? Write your grandmother a letter. I'm not going nowhere. I'll wait for you to finish. He was like, nah, man, I'm, I want to go now. I want to go now. I said, all right, come on, yeah, come on. 
Yo, when I was taking Ro out, before he went out, he said, wait, E, the niggas, and he's a grown man. He's ain't adolescent. He's a grown man. They was in a, in a, in a corner right there. He told this grown man, he said, yo, stand by myself and make sure nobody go in it. He told the CEO, you ain't got to close myself. He said, you watch myself till I get back. I ain't never saw no shit like that in my life. I said, come on, Ro, you ready? Ro said, yeah. Ro, come in with me. Don't you know, when I took Ro down in the pain, when I took him in the pain, when I put him down, I said, Ro, walk the tear for me, nigga. I said, go take your count. Ro said, you want me to take your count? I said, take your count, Ro. He said, all right, I got to eat. Ro going down. And, you know, niggas, I got gangsters in the pain. My whole thing is gangsters, nigga. My whole thing is gangsters. They've been cutting niggas for months. That's why we couldn't keep a suicide aid. Boy, my son, I tell you. Yo, son, big road went down. Let's start walking. And niggas look. They're like, yo, who that down here? Big road said, it's me, big road. What's up, homies? Niggas ran up to the gate and look. They said, oh shit, that's really big road. And niggas said, get off the gate, get off the gate. Get off the gate. Get off the gate. I'm looking. Now, any other time we get a suicide, niggas are playing the gate. Yeah, motherfucker, we got a new fresh meat. Now, big road down there, ain't nobody playing this fucking gate. And they whispering, you can hear them whispering, yo. Yo, that's Big Rule. Who Big Rule? That's the booty bandit. That's the booty bandit. This is what he doing down here. They're like, I don't know. But they said, yo, I, I ain't going out there. You hear me? I ain't going out there. So I'm laughing because I hear these niggas. So then the captain come down. At the time, it was Captain Kelly. Big captain. Big dog to Captain Kelly. He come down and he see me like, yo, E, what's going on, E? I say nothing. He said, yo, man. I said, we got a suicide aid now, Cap. We good. He said, oh, you found one, E? I said, yeah. So he said, good, man, good, man. He said, because they running everybody out this motherfucker and cutting them up. So he go down on the floor. And you know the blue table that me, you always talk about, the blue table with the phone there and the chair. Big Row was sitting right there. So the Captain Kelly walked by, and when he walked by him, now the Captain Kelly lived in Brooklyn. So Captain Kelly walked by, he got about, up to about three cell. And then he turned around and looked, and turned back and came back to me. He <laughs> said, yo, E, you know who that is? I said, yeah. So the big round. He said, you mean? He's a notorious booty bandit. I said, I know who the fuck he is. He said, yo, E, you better not let him fuck none of these kids do it. I said, yo, yeah. Y'all want a suicide aid? We got one, all right? He looked at me. I said, you know I ain't gonna let nothing happen to him. He said, yo, he looked at me. He tapped his, captain tapped his booty, yo, E. I see him tapping his booty. Yo, you better look out. <laughs> and we just start laughing. So he go down the chair. He come back up. He said, big bro. He said, yo, what's up? Bro, we like, what's up, cat? That bro stand up looking at him like, don't you come. He's like, yo, what's up? Captain, look at him. Captain said, you good? You ready? You think you can handle this job? Big bro said, it's a piece of cake. This is a piece of cake. Matter of fact, this is a sweet potato cake. The captain said, yo, don't say that, bro. Don't say that, bro. Don't say the sweet potato cake, nigga. And, you know, he said the sweet potato cake because we got, he, he see a lot of sweet motherfucking meat down this motherfucker. Right? So then when the Kool-Aid come, before the Kool-Aid come, it's time to take showers. So I got a book. I said, who want to take a shower? Yo, look, every morning niggas want to take no shower. Now niggas don't want to take no shower. 
Nobody want to take a shot with <laughs> They're like, nah, E, we good. We good. I'm like, what's up? Nobody want to take a shower? Nah, we good, E. We good. We good. So I'm blasting. Right? So I said, okay, nobody want to take a shower? I'm going to have a lovely day. Right? So all of a sudden, now the food come. I said, bro, part of your job is to give out the Kool-Aid. Now, this is where they be cutting niggas and trying to threaten niggas. But Ray going, Ro going down with the grid, the wagon, and he got, you know, they pull out the green cups. And Ro said, juice, on the juice, on the Kool-Aid. Ro, Ro pushing the, the shit down. Only a couple of niggas, they'll stick out their thing and give it to Ro. And Ro looking at him, talking to him, what's up, shorty? What's your name? And they give him his name and shit. And, but then when Ro get the, get the cup, you can see their hands and shake it. The Kool-Aid is spilling. <laughs> the Kool-Aid is spilling. But they give him Ro the cup. Ro was like, what's wrong, Sonny? Why you shaking for? He was like, I ain't shaking. Ro said, yes, you is. You shaking, Shorty. And, our, and the niggas that already know who Ro is, they said, yeah, he's shaking because they didn't know you a booty bandit. And Big Ro said, who said that? Who said that? And the whole house get quiet. <laughs> and Ro, Ro go down, he walk down looking. Everybody playing like they sleep, lads. <laughs> Everybody playing like they fucking sleep. Y'all niggas is killing. Y'all cutting niggas all the time. Every time I go home, y'all I come back, I ain't got no suicide aid. Because y'all done ran niggas out. So now we got road here now. So I like cool. So now, I'm getting ready to go home. So now I got to take Ro back to his house. So I'm going to take Ro back to his house. And when I'm taking Ro back to his house, when I get him there, the same inmate, man, these are grown men, like I said. The man was standing next to Big Ro's cell like he was a fucking soldier in the army. And the officer said that that, that dude did not leave Big Ro's cell till I brought him back. He did not move from that spot until I brought him back. And when I brought him back, all the inmates that was in the day room, they left out the day room and went in their cell. Grown ass men. They were like, we're not sitting in the day room with him. They, they, they weren't sitting in the day room with Ro. They were not sitting in there with Ro, son. They were not sitting there with Ro. Straight up. Straight up. Ro had it all, all for himself, son. Whatever he wanted, he had it for himself. So you never seen nobody, nobody, nobody tried him? Nobody tried him? Like nobody nah, nah, not like in there. Not when I was, nope. Nope. Nope, nobody fucked with him. But did he, did he ever try to knock somebody out and take their buns in that bing? Well, you know, I, I imagine he did, but not when I was around. Not when I, not when I was around. You know, not when I was around. What projects that nigga was from in the Ville? I don't know, you know. I really can't tell you where Rogue was from. Because Rogue, everywhere, when I was in London, Rogue was in London. We had to stop Rogue in London. Because he was trying to fuck a nigga named Niggas roll up on him. No, Jonker can't fuck with him. Why he, to, why he wanted to fuck with that particular nigga, though? He pick and choose who he want. He was a big nigga. And he just, it's just something about him. He, you know, he got it, you know, like you, you, you like your, your, your veggie salad and vegetarian. <laughs> He's like, he, he, he got his own preference. On what he like, you know what I'm saying? It, it was fucking crazy though, man. For real, it was fucking crazy. Niggas, son, had, you know? niggas had to run. That niggas had to tell that nigga to leave son alone. Oh yeah, yeah, hell yeah, son. Hell yeah, and you know everybody knew he had a name for himself. Everybody knew who he was, son. And he was. It was one dude though. It was two guys that I know. Ro didn't fuck with. He didn't fuck with Jeff. Jeff lived in on my block. He was homicide, suicide, and them big brother. 
Jeff Clemens, you know, and Jeff, he was scared of Jeff, so he wouldn't fuck with Big Jeff, and he wouldn't fuck with Spadey. Spadey, he wouldn't fuck with Spadey. Spadey's a monster. But he's doing real good now. You know, I haven't seen him in years. Oh, my, um, my family, Big Derek, he be speaking to him, you know. I would tell, tell Spadey, I give him a love, you know, I gotta go visit him, I gotta go see him. You know, and he's still working out, Spadey's still working out, he's doing good. But I haven't seen Spadey's for like 20 something years, but, you know, he's still doing good. Yo, I think you was telling me before some other shit, dead on road, some shit, I think you was telling me about. I think it was some other shit you was telling me about Row and, and y'all was in 284 Park or some shit like that. Oh, man. they was in 150 Park. 150 Park. They was jamming in 150 Park over there by Cicero. They was jamming over there and Big Row was, like I said, once again, spreading his wings and shit. And they said Spady came in the park. When Spady came in there, Everybody said, yo, Speedy is, Speedy is. And they said, Speedy, I wasn't there. This is from what I hear. They said, Speedy came in the park. And Speedy told Ro, yo, I'm tired of you fucking around with you kids out here. You better leave them the fucking alone. Fuck with somebody like me. So they were like, Ro said, nah, Speedy, I don't want to fuck with you, man. But he said, no, you ain't got no choice. He said, I'll tell you what, take your, he told Spady, this is, he told a row, take your best punch. Spady, take your best punch. A row was like, what? Row said, Spady said, you better take your best punch, because I'm going to take mine. So row, they said, row, held his breath, and he punched Spady in the chest. Boom! They said, that shit ain't even phase Spady. Yo, that's with the dead arm. Yo, they said, Spady looked at him. And they said he hit Roe one time. Boom! And they said he came, he came big row chest in like you wouldn't believe. They said Roe left the park behind that shit. I was like, wow. I wish I was there to see that one. Yeah, I said, I wish I was there to see that one. That was like a motherfucking HBO movie. <laughs> that was motherfucking King Kong meets Godzilla. Yeah, you know, that was some, some, yo, I wish I was there to see that when I got there, like, after the fact, and I was just hearing everything, you know, how it went down. I just missed it, too. I just missed it. So I was like, oh, wow. What up, man? I know he knocked out a horse. I remember that. Well, I wasn't there, but that it. was the rumor. It was a police horse? I don't know what horse it, it, it that was one of the stories that was going around Browns. Yo, Ro knocked out a horn. Niggas, I'm going to do my homework, son. I'm going to give you some more information. Now, man. how do how, do you know how he spelled his name? R-O-R-O-E or R-O-W? R-O-E. I spell it R-O-E. Some niggas spell it R-O-W. I spell it R-O-E. When he was in jail, it was R-O-E. Yeah. R-O-E. You know, and I had a good talk with him before, before he even got out of jail because, like I said, that was an everyday thing. I had to go pick him up, bring him back. And he started telling me that niggas in Brownsville love him. I told him, yo, niggas in Brownsville don't love you. They fear you, nigga. I said, they scared of you. They don't love you, bro. Don't get it twisted. He said, they don't love me? Either. No, they don't love you. They scared of you, nigga. So don't get it twisted. I told him. Cause he said they loved him. I said, nah, they don't love you, bro. They scared of you, son. I'm telling you. But don't get it twisted. When you fuck around, come to find out years later, you know, Ro was still doing that stick up shit. You know, with the little kids, you have them run up on somebody and they start robbing drug dealers. He wind up out there in Coney Island and he robbed uh, like uh, one of them guys' spots. For, for, for his brother, and he was running across Coney Island Avenue, and he got hit by a bus. So a bus took Big Row out, man. You know, he got killed by a bus. Ain't that some shit? 
This shit crazy. Broadcasting live from New York City. It's the hottest channel on these YouTube streets. The best jail stories and hood stories are here. Make sure you subscribe today. LAZ. Hey yo, LAZ, three great movies that if you call yourself a movie buff, yo ass better see. Number one, Sugar. One of the most powerful movies I ever saw. You heard? If you Dominican out there and you ain't see this right here, you super lacking. This movie is riveting. I just always wanted to say that word. Number two, probably my all time favorite. The spook who sat by the door. If you black and you ain't see this movie, you should be ashamed of yourself. Number three, Ghost Dog starring Forrest Whitaker. One of the most underrated movies of all time It's too many people who didn't see this great film. This is a great film. This is a masterpiece. And that's a whole fact. Anybody who ever saw this movie, they'll tell you that. This rap HD break free from the reign of the false kings feeling like soul stings. Took sons from me, Hotep. Hood is grotesque, it breeds sick killers. Uh, from the peas to villas, black yachts came from crack spots to black drop mirror bows. Hey yo, if you making music out there, make sure you promoting on my YouTube channel and my Instagram page. You heard my reels is on fire. Make sure you get at me. DM me at Real St. Laz on Instagram or send me an email at the LLC at gmail.com. That's a whole fact. Hey yo, keep it safe, New York City. You heard that's the brand. Kiss the brand out of Queens. NYC was popping. Y'all about to see the guard rocking some of this material, telling some good stories on my YouTube channel. You heard? Check the link. Make sure you go over there and cop up and tell them Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man running around the hood like He-Man sent you. You heard? Let's get it. These bars is life, jewels like stars at night, hard white in the pelly, slip if you wanna get smelly, hop out the heli at Carnegie Deli, uh, in the telly where the yachts worth, gun blue pop smurf, put your pops in church, earth. LAZ, if you wanna hear the rest of this song, the link to it is in the comment section and in the description. You heard, if you need music promo just like this for your new song, your old song, your new or old video, Get at me. Send me an email at thegenpopllc at gmail.com. Ear. Hey, yo, LAZ, if you need professional pictures, if you need a photo shoot for a wedding, a birthday party, a baby shower, whatever you need, follow Life Through Galleries on Instagram. Get you a professional photographer. You heard? Tell them LAZ sent you. Hey, yo, man, shout out to my motherfucking people, St. Laz and Pottersfield. You know what I mean? Ayo, hey, they calling this book The Hood Game of Thrones, you heard? Make sure you cop that on Amazon right now. The Blood Sagas, book one, Blood and Loyalty. Limit, I'm the pilot, come fly with me. And when I touch down, I move around like it's nine to me. To be or not to be, that is a question. What's understood need not be said. Bridgeport, Connecticut, this is on fire. Hey yo, LAZ man, make sure y'all go check that new song and video from the Bro Abyss featuring the guard and the legend AZ out of East New York, Brooklyn, and the Bro Lamone blowing that hook like crazy. The link to this video is in the comments and in the description of this video. Make sure you check it. A king's perception, do what stay on a dean, what's seen is death. 
Ayo LAZ, the bro criminal guard from Queens is spitting fire. Link to his video in the comments. Check that. I mean, when I say that, don't say nothing. They say radio, we ain't gonna play that. Right now you hear me on the radio, of course the map. Uh -huh. The world is New York now. New York now. Ain't nobody eating pork now. Now say This a little PSA from me to you. The grass is not greener on the other side. Whatever they trying to sell, mm -mm. stay your ass on this side.